happening this morning. California Highway Patrol officers are looking to make the holidays shine for local kids in need. The Chips for Kids toy drive begins today and 23 ABC's Lindsay Adams live at CHP headquarters with what you need to know if you want to help out. Lindsay. Good morning, Erin. That's right. The fifth annual Chips for Kids toy drive does begin today, and it's a month long, and it's a way to make the holidays brighter for kids in need. And joining me now is California Highway, Highway Patrol Officer Robert Rodriguez. How are you this morning, Robert? I'm doing very, very well. How about yourself? I'm freezing out here. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a great cause. If you could tell us, uh, what do you need to know to donate this year? Uh, well, if anyone uh, would like to donate, uh, they can bring an unwrapped, a brand new unwrapped toy here to the Bakersfield CHP area office. We've got various locations also throughout the town uh, where people, if wh whoever wishes to donate, can 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 bring a, bring a toy, and we'll definitely make sure that they get out to a local child uh, here in Bakersfield. That sounds good, and uh, yeah, it does stay local. And how many approximately kids do you usually help out every year with this? You know, last year uh, we gave out to about close to 3,000 kids. Uh, so this year, I don't know, every year it gets bigger and bigger. So we'll see what happens this year. That sounds good. That sounds really good. And um, I do know that there is a big, a big bin you guys need to fill up. So definitely bring those gifts. Oh, definitely. You know, the need is always so great here in Kern County, but again, we can't do this without the uh, without the help of the local community, and the local community is so amazing. And so we're just that conduit for, for people who would like to donate and, and just to just to give to a local child. Um, we're that conduit, and we'll, be, we'll again, make sure that, that those gifts go out to local children here in Bakersfield. Right. Thank you so much. Sounds good. And also a list of the places you could drop off. Uh, the CHP office on Buck Owens, Motor City and the Auto Mall, and the Bakersfield Californian and the United Way as well. And this does run through December 17th and it does begin today. So bring your new um, unwrapped toy to the CHP office and uh, you can help out a local child here in Kern County. Back to you guys. Eye-opening experience. All right, happening today during the holidays, CHP is out in full force, not just keeping our roads safe, but also making sure no child is forgotten this Christmas. 23 ABC's Lindsay Adams joining us live this morning from the CHP headquarters with the latest on the Chips for Kids toy drive. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Mike and Aaron. The fifth annual Chips for Kids toy drive begins today, and it's the perfect way to make the holiday season a little bit brighter for kids in need. We're very grateful that, that we're able to, to bless a local child. It's the toy drive that allows you to give back to local kids in need. The joy, the laughter, uh, you know, just a sense of, of, hey, I'm getting something for Christmas. The fifth annual Chips for Kids toy drive starts today, and Officer Robert Rodriguez with the California Highway Patrol says it helps make the holidays all the more merry for disadvantaged and hospitalized children in Kern County. Sometimes these kids don't get anything for Christmas. You can help out by buying a new unwrapped toy and donating it. All of the donations benefit local children from infants to 16 years old. A lot of people will say 16 years. I say, yeah, you know, they're still considered kids, even though they're teenagers. And a lot of times those kids get left out. And again, the Chips for Kids toy drive begins this morning and runs through December 17th. Drop off sites include the CHP office on Buck Owens, Motor City in the Auto Mall, and the Bakersfield Californian and the United Way as well. And coming up in our next half hour, I'll show you just how many toys it takes to fill up the bin that they need to donate to thousands of kids right here in Kern County. Back to you guys.